I've been talking about Shang-Chi's strength levels a lot. He's a new character in the MCU and he has some really incredible feats in the comics. So in order for you guys to understand things and get a read on his potential in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and how he'll compare to the Avengers, I want to show you some of his craziest moments. And this is definitely one of them. Shang-Chi is so strong that he was able to knock out a shark underwater. It might seem ridiculous, but it's true. And I'm going to tell you how all of this went down, but we'll have to first start from the beginning. In Volume 1, Issue 21 of Master of Kung Fu from 1974, a criminal known as Demi Marston had ordered a hit on Shang-Chi. He had heard that Shang-Chi's father, who at the time was known as Fu Manchu, wanted his son dead. So Demi figured that he would be able to get a pretty big reward if he were the one to provide the body. While being chased by Hitman, Shang-Chi ended up going into a place called Marine Land, which was a Sea World ripoff. Shang-Chi realized that Demi's thugs were closing in on him. He defeated four of them, but there were more inbound. As they fired their guns, a bullet grazed Shang-Chi's cheek, and he thought he wouldn't be able to take them all on, at least not with such a big open space between them. That type of range would always put Shang-Chi, a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, at a disadvantage. He decided to jump into one of the small pools of water for cover, but the one Shang-Chi jumped into had a 20-foot shark. The shark circled Shang-Chi, waiting for a chance to bite him. But Shang-Chi kept calm, bid his time, and laid the first strike on the beast. With the edge of his palm, he chopped the shark right on his head, but it had no effect. Which makes a ton of sense, I mean Shang-Chi isn't known to be the strongest puncher in the Marvel Universe. He's a great martial artist, but if there's any substance that would slow him down or make him weaker, even the best kung fu would be harmless if it were cushioned. And that's essentially what the water did to Shang-Chi. It slowed down his movement so much that his initial strike against the shark was like the pitter-patter of tiny hands against a giant. Also, it was a giant 20-foot shark. It probably was pretty strong in its own right. The shark circled back around and went in for the bite. But this time Shang-Chi recalibrated how much force he needed to put into his strike. He hit the shark one more time, on the edge of its mouth, right on the jawline, and dazed it. The shark got a bit wobbly and rolled over onto its stomach, showing a sign of weakness that Shang-Chi was more than happy to take advantage of. He grabbed the shark by the bottom of his mouth, then wiggled his way to a more advantageous spot right above his head, and just started chopping. With his final blow, he leveled a punch right onto the shark's gills and knocked it out. He probably would have kept hitting it, just because you could never be too safe around a 2,000 pound man-eater, but Shang-Chi was running out of breath. When he resurfaced, Demi's men struck Shang-Chi on his head, knocking him out. Now, I know a lot of you are still wondering how strong he is, which, again, is the reason that I'm really enjoying bringing up these old feats. I have another video coming out where I talk about how he fared against Wolverine. Now, some of you might have seen it already, but if you haven't, make sure to check it out. And some more where I'll cover his speed and durability. Since he was able to defeat this shark underwater, then you can imagine that he's definitely mightier than several of the current MCU Avengers. I couldn't imagine Black Widow or Hawkeye pulling off something like this without the use of their weapons. Even Captain America might struggle a little bit, although, considering he was able to flip a motorcycle over his head and completely destroy an enemy truck, I think he would have fared well enough against the shark.